Your house, your home. Fire safety in your home. There are many ways that you can prevent fires from happening in your home. Here are a few things you can do to make your home safer and help prevent a fire from happening. Cooking. It is common for fires to start in the kitchen. It is important to never leave anything you are cooking unattended and to keep looking when cooking. If you have to leave the kitchen while you are cooking, make sure you turn the stove off and take the pans off the heat. Fires can happen very quickly and things like tea towels, oven mitts or plastic utensils near the stove or cooktop can catch fire and easily burn you. Make sure you do not place anything near where you are cooking. All cooking should be done in the kitchen and never cook in other rooms of the house or on balconies. Electricity. It is dangerous to overload power boards or power points as this may cause a fire. You should check all the leads for any damage, including frayed cords or exposed wires. And if they are damaged, you should throw these out and replace them. It is also a good idea to turn appliances such as the television and computers off at the switch as they may overheat in standby mode. Smoking. You should never leave a cigarette unattended or smoke in bed as you may fall asleep. This is very dangerous as a cigarette can cause a fire. You should always make sure the butts are fully out and it is a good idea to wet them with water before putting them in the rubbish bin. Candles. Candles, incense and oil burners are the cause of many fires. You should never have them near paper, an open window or a curtain and always make sure the candle is out or the oil burner is turned off before you leave the room. If you live in a multi-unit building that has a fire detection system installed, it is important to be aware that candles, incense and oil burners are like leaving food unattended. For example, burning toast can set off the fire detection system, requiring emergency services to attend. These events are called false alarms and Land and Housing Corporation is charged for the attendance of emergency services. In some instances, if you have caused the false alarm, you may be asked to pay the applicable charge. Matches and lighters. Many house fires are started by children, especially little children, playing with matches and lighters. You should always store matches and lighters in a secure place, such as in a high cupboard and away from young children. Heaters. It is important to make sure that nothing is near the heater, including washing and curtains. You should never have your heater on for long periods of time, especially overnight, and you should switch off the heater when you leave the room. If you use an electric blanket, always turn it off before getting into bed, and don't leave heavy things on the bed when the blanket is turned on. When the blanket is not in use, store it correctly by rolling it, not folding, and if it is damaged, throw it in the rubbish bin. Laundry. Common fires can happen because of clothes dryers. Make sure you remove the lint and clean your dryer filter after every time you use it. Hoarding. Excessive accumulation of possessions can result in an increased fire risk. It can impede your escape in the case of a fire and make firefighting difficult. It is important to always keep your home clean and tidy, regularly remove rubbish and unused items and make sure to keep all exits and passageways clear of excess materials. Home escape plan. It is important to have a home escape plan in place should there be a fire or emergency. It is recommended that you make and practice your escape plan with everyone in your household to evacuate to your pre-planned safe meeting place away from your home. What to do if I have a fire in my home? You should always stay calm and get everyone out as quickly and safely as possible by following your escape plan. Once outside, call triple zero from a safe location as quickly as possible and ask for fire. Stay on the phone, speak clearly and answer the operator's questions. Never go back into the building until you are told it is safe to do so. If you cannot leave your home, phone triple zero to report the fire and then follow their advice. DCJ residents are advised to also view the video, Your House, Your Home, Smoke Alarms Save Lives. And if you are a DCJ resident living in a building that is three storeys or more, you are advised to view the video, Your House, Your Home, Fire Safety in Your Building.